Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel project series. My name is Anil. This is our 12th video and in this video we will see that how we can log in in the Laravel project. So in the previous video we checked out that how we can uh, uh, make a registration for a new user and uh, these are the users that we just registered in the previous video. So specifically in this video we will uh, use this user credentials to log in the user. All right. So first of all, let's check out the points of the video. So first of all, we have to make a login form. We have to make a route and controller for it. Then we will submit the form and decrypt the password. And uh, why will decrypt the password? Because without decrypting this password, you cannot know the password and you cannot check the uh, what is the user current password and all. All right. So for credential mat uh, match, we have to decrypt this. And after that, we will uh, check the session and redirect and we will hide the menus after the login. Uh, for the login and registration because after the login of the user they cannot see the login and password menu and functionality all right so now let's uh, come back to our project and first of all let's open the web.php file here i am just going to make a route for login view so just make a login this is the route name and this will be my file name so now let's uh, make the file with the name of uh, login so which is actually already created but I'm just going to remove it I will make uh, once again just make a uh, login dot uh oh what's so wrong with it yep so just come back here login dot blade dot php and uh, we can just copy the uh, registration form here because the both are very similar and uh, it will just save our time and video, video length also. So just write here login user and we don't need name here because we need only password and email for login like this. Now let's check it out what we are able to see on a login page. But this login page actually click is not working because we have to provide here link. So open the login.blade.php and here we can just uh, write here login route so now it's working fine on the click of login you can see that this is redirecting all right so after that what we need we have to just submit this username and password so let's check out any email like uh, peter but for that we have to make a controller also so just make a controller function and a route so let's copy a route first of all and uh, this will be the login with the post request and we will also make a login function inside the resto and in this uh, controller like, let's make a function with the name of login and here as you know we will get the request of request type class and here for a moment we can just directly return user what is the user you know that this is the our uh, model right so just write here user where and in this condition we can put a email will be dollar uh, dollar request then email oh sorry dollar request input and we can put here email all right so i am just going to match the email here only why not password because password is decrypted for that we have to just encrypt it uh, and I, I will show you that how we can do it but uh, for a moment let's see what we gone here with the peter username and password uh, okay so because uh, the request of the login form we have to change it so let's change it with the login and uh, just refresh it and let's write here again anil or whatever you just want to put the name so one two three four is a password okay so i think this is not refreshed properly so let's make it refresh all right and now let's try to log in with the any username like peter the password one two three four 
um, uh, let me check what's the wrong with it so let's check out the web.php also uh, yeah I think I just got the issue we have to use here a get function is it that problem yeah that's actually problem all right so now you can see that we got the everything with the na name and password and everything but uh, how we can just uh, match this password because this is the encrypted password and we are just saying the normal password for that let's take a variable here like dollar user and uh, here you can just check that dollar uh, user and it, it's on the zero index password now let's check what we got here so I, we will got only password here nothing else and now we can decrypt it how we can decrypt it for that like in the previous video we encrypt this way now we can decrypt this way right so just write here decrypt uh, uh, scope resolution method decrypt like this and uh, now let's check are we getting the perfect password yes we got the perfect password and uh, now we can uh, simply check this request like this right if this is matched then it will just directly go for uh, putting the session and redact to the home page but here we don't have an input request like name so we can just get it from the uh, database like this so put it here with the password and let's change it with the name now let's try once again like you can change you can use any name like uh, uh, Bruce at the rate test or one two three four all right so I think it's not matched. Let me check what's uh, going on with it. We can just put it like this and uh, return this decrypt. Uh, yeah, that's actually my bad. I have to just match here the password, not. Uh, the ID not the email ID so now let's see now you can see that proof is logged in here so let's uh, just check it out on the new console and for the new user let's say I okay so this is already been in the uh, incognito mode so let's open the new incognito mode here and let's uh, check out with login with the new one like I just want to login with the Peter Peter password is one two three four I have the same password for everyone because I don't want to forget and check it again and again now you can see that Peter is also logging in the next video we will see that how we can uh, log it out and uh, if a user is not logged in we will protect these routes we, we cannot go this page if user want to click on this them page then it will be just redacted on the login all right so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care